Welcome back. Over the past week, we've reported on two Macon teenagers arrested for four armed robberies. And last night, a 25 year old was killed in a West Macon shooting. Today, neighborhoods around Macon joined forces for a night to unite, a stand against crime. Inslee Nichols is live outside one of those events on 2nd Street. The goal here is to let people get to know their neighbors, but also give them a relaxed environment for them to be able to talk to law enforcement. Earlier today, two older people living in neighborhoods around Macon says that crime has gone up since their youth. That's why they wanted to step in and help out. Alice Jackson and Larry Wright share stories about growing up in Macon decades ago. We might fight, you know, and have arguments, but nothing with guns and knives, and it was basically a it's fight or whatever if you did that. You know, the community looked after each other. Now it's more so everybody for themselves. Uh. Now they say things are different, and it's the youth of Macon that's worrying the older generation. It is so prevalent right now in our community, and it's sad. It, it grieves my heart. You find drugs, you find violence, you find guns, you find people being shot. Jackson and Wright joined in with their neighbors to take a stand against the violence at the Night to Unite. Neighborhoods across Bibb County organized events to get to know one another and brainstorm ways to deter crime. We have crime, we have struggles, we have blight, but if we rest on the assurance of these young people that are here today, we can overcome any obstacle. Young entrepreneurs, singers, and scholars from Macon Schools led the event. It introduces programs and crime prevention going on in the community. Jackson and Wright want to lead their youth to show them there is more than violence. And let them know that you can change. You always, you always can change. Show them love. You know, a lot of times the kids haven't had love. You know, they, no one has ever shown them love. And, and I think a lot of times if you can show them love, you can change a whole lot of their attitudes. And Sheriff David Davis says that without putting into consideration the shooting that happened last night in West Macon, homicide numbers have actually gone down this year compared to last year. Live in Macon, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. Hi, right, thank you, Ensley. Also, thus far in 2019, Sheriff Davis says crime overall in Bibb County is down 8% from the same period last year. 2018 was the most violent year since the city and county merged five years ago.